So hey guys welcome back in Kodemon Mobile Day and in this video I will learn you that how you can basically use the save game system in Unreal Engine 4.27 so as you can see I have a 20 value and if I click on save so that value become increased and say that save and next time if I click on play and as you can see the 30 value is saved if I press again that 40 save so as you can see the next time the 40 will be saved and I can see in the same method used for the minecraft game even if you try to buy offline like a vehicle or skin you see that uh, next time if when you open your game it will be see uh, you can see that your which trace or car is can you buy that is available okay so let's now make let's learn how we can make so first of all let me remove that which code i write already so i can show you and also let's delete my this same game save game mode Okay, it's now deleting basically okay so as you can see this is first of all create a empty level then basically connected my ui okay with uh, my widget and here i simply said create a system like text box and a save button and that save button even tick how much i create a simple integer value dot variable that high score and how much is my high score that is get the uh, value from that and set in my text box okay in that text box and in uh, when, when i place the button it will be add that how much value i have from that it will be add some 10 more value and save that okay in this variable okay now let's learn that how you can basically save this system so first of all for saving that we need to write mouse and then click right mouse then save uh, the blueprint class and search here in your all class that saved and here you find that save game so if you already created some more save game object so you can see there's a multiple name but in our case let's click on sa a save game then select and now you can give your save game name so let's give it name that cbyt that is kobyanga yt and save okay now save this thing and now insert as you can see that we are first of all for saving that same value we need the same variable as you can see in our integer that is contained the basically the value so what you need to do we need to double click and open this thing and here it's pretty much enough like our even graph okay so in a variable will be at our basically the same value that is high uh, score score okay then in variable type will be set that integer value and save this thing okay now come in your ui and now we need to basically create here that create save game by object now at here you need to select your cbyt or whatever your object create and then from the return value you need to cast that cast your cbyt saved once you do that your save uh, save uh, this your save game have now this high score so then you need to, from that you need to basically call that uh, basically variable so that is basically our highest score so set that highest score and connect it like this thing and now at here that how much high, high score we have in our ui just connect it that value in here so what is our value after then saving at here it will be save in our save game okay data now we need to from that we need to write that save game by slot and now from our save game we need to connect it like this thing and then the slot name you can give anything so let's give that high uh, c o r e high score and then if in return we can give that if and else that uh, the branch that delay i'm adding a delay that delay two seconds that print string that our whatever it's done okay or are there's anything done or not or any error or not so if that is true so that is mean that save done okay oh sorry whatever i did uh, save done okay that is basically save done now compile and save so now our value will be save at here now we need to save that so after done once we press the basically the button that's high score update it will be save that so it will be create that always and once we create it will be cast that and once it cast that it will be save that data and save it here okay now we need to load that so in even 
event construct it's simply like the event begin play what we see in our open level by class or in our any of third person character or any of character class event graph we see that there's even being play that is the same in our ui that event construct that is only work one time when our ui is activate so from that what you need to do basically uh we need that load game by slot and now we need to say space the same slot name so just copy that and paste that here uh not like that uh it's copy that basically full so copy and paste and connect it like this thing once you do that uh on load game by slot <coughs> uh, i'm sorry so load game by slot that we need to basically cast okay so cast to our cbyt and from that cbyt because it's already saved at variable value in our this high score variable we can now get so high get high score and once we get the high score we will be save with our high score variable okay that is our ui so like that okay so that is the basically the method now let's compile and save now let's click on uh, play and as you can see we have zero value so let's click on save add 10 and it's saved basically once it's saved let's click on play again and as you can see we can see that uh, how much value save at here the 10 it's showing okay so i hope you understand how you need to create the save game by slot or how you need to use the save game system thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video